This was me the day one of starting Accutane. This is me one week after. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight, baby! What's up, guys? I'm Josh Knight Lift Things. And I'm here to talk about Accutane, the only thing that cured my acne. Accutane took my face from looking like this. Did the picture pop up yet? To this. It made me uglier. Before I get into it, let me first say Accutane is not the proper name for the chemical. The chemical name is isotretinoin. It's essentially just vitamin A. And Accutane was a company that used to sell isotretinoin until they were eventually sued into oblivion because of the severe side effects that it can cause. LOL. So I have kind of a weird history with acne. Throughout adolescence, I never really had any. I'd have the occasional back or shoulder acne, a little bit of chest acne, but really nothing bad. I worked dirty jobs, I played sports, I was dehydrated, never washed my face, drank, never used a sunscreen or anything else i had pretty good pretty good skin i thought i was just insanely lucky a lot of my family had pretty bad acne especially when they were growing up so i thought i just lucked out then i got sick and was diagnosed with crohn's disease i haven't talked too much about this on my channel and i'll probably make a video explaining my history with it at some point but essentially i dropped from 225 pounds to 140 pounds over the course of about eight months i was shitting blood about 10 times a day and couldn't keep anything down and was unironically dying to combat this my doctors prescribed me prednisone which is a steroid not an anabolic steroid like you may be thinking but a glucocorticoid steroid anyone who's taken it or knows anything about it knows that it can be pretty brutal for some ungodly reason prednisone absolutely thrashed my skin here's a picture of my face while on prednisone I finished prednisone roughly two-ish years ago. I was on it for a very, very long time, much longer than anyone recommends, but doctor's gonna doctor. But my awful skin persisted. Randomly, it would flare up even worse, but for the most part, I had anywhere from, say, 20, you know, maybe even 30 plus active pimples on my face at any given time. The big issue is they're not just whiteheads. These were red, painful bumps, which turns out to be cystic or nodular acne. That was my biggest thing. I could take the, you know, not looking so great, and that's really whatever I mean. But my face unironically hurt when I would open my mouth and my skin would stretch against all these cysts. It was very, very painful. Even regular stuff like eating was not a fun time. So I tried all the r slash skincare addiction treatments. Gentle cleanser one to two times a day, SPF in the morning, reapply in the afternoon, moisturizer and occlusive at night, you know, all the regular stuff. I washed my pillowcases every day. I slept on a fresh towel over my pillowcase when I got tired of washing them. I cleaned my sheets, stayed hydrated. I supplemented for deficiencies in diet. I removed foods from my already scuffed Crohn's elimination diet to see if that was maybe making me act up. Eventually I went to a dermatologist, he gave me benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid, all the classic things you would first initially do. He did want to put me on a low dose of antibiotic, but again, because of my Crohn's disease, I did not want to take antibiotics. I'm sure you've heard of probiotic, which is good for stomach health, supposedly. Well, antibiotics also wreck your gut health, prove it. So I wasn't about to put myself into another Crohn's flare up because I'm relatively healthy now, as far as my Crohn's goes just to make sure my skin doesn't look a little bad. But that same dermatologist was refusing to give me Accutane, primarily because of my Crohn's disease, which there seems to be a link between Accutane and IBD, or inflammatory bowel disorder, of which Crohn's disease is. Eventually, I just got fed up and decided to do what everyone should do when they're in a situation like that, and I got a second opinion. This new derm was willing to give me Accutane, but they wanted to be extremely careful due to the past links that I talked about with Accutane and IBD. For someone my size, I should be taking roughly 80 milligrams of isotretinoin every single day. Typically, you taper up from a lower dosage, or you titrate up, and they decided to start me at 20 milligrams grams of isotretinoin every other day literally one eighth of a proper dose and i'll let the pictures speak for themselves here this was me the day one of starting accutane this is me one week after nearly a 80 percent total reduction in acne after seven days on one eighth of a real dose. I was amazed and I thought this had to be placebo or something insane. I didn't know what was happening, but then week two happened. And then week three. And then week four. They had me bump up my dose uh, to 20 milligrams every single day. So now one fourth of a proper dose, but a uh, doubling of my prior dose. And that's when I quit taking progress pictures. There was no more progress to be had. I had zero acne. Now, this sounds amazing, right? And for me, it truly was. The thing is, I was a absolute hyper responder. Most people do not respond that fast to that low of a dose 
And an issue with hyper responders is they often also have some of the worst side effects. So let's talk about them. The most common side effects are going to be extremely, extremely dry skin. You'll have dry eyes, dry nose, like inside your nose. You'll have extremely dry lips. You can get some rashes with some mild itching. You can get a sore, dry throat. Uh, headaches are very, very common. Joint pain in general and muscular pain can be very, very common. But there's also very more serious side effects. Unexplained bruising, which could be explained by blood clogging disorders. Could get other type of blood disorders, leaving you very, very dizzy or open to infection. It can cause depression and suicidal ideation. It can cause pancreatitis and intestinal bleeding. You can get liver problems, essentially turning jaundice. You can get kidney problems. So me, being a hyper responder, probably had worse side effects, right? Uh, no. I had next to zero side effects. Other than some chapped lips, which my TikTok comments made readily apparent, and kind of a dry nose, but that's extremely common. I didn't get one nosebleed, I didn't have any intestinal cramping, or anything else. But there was something kind of peculiar. One day, my lower pelvic muscles seemed kind of sore. Not like abdoms or anything like that, much deeper in me. This persisted for about two weeks, right after upping my dose. I looked it up, and I found this study that happened to someone. I so and no one induced acute severe myopathy involving pelvic girdle muscles, a case report. Basically, this guy was on a plane and had severe, severe pain in his like lower pelvic girdle. He had to get taken off the plane, and then eventually, after a whole lot of doctor checkups, they realized that isotretinoin may have been causing myopathy or the destruction of muscle in his pelvic floor. Luckily, mine went away after a couple of weeks, so I, I don't know. Really weird, this isn't touched on that much. I found a couple other articles referencing myopathy in general, but not really isolated. So it's weird, but luckily for me, it didn't get worse. So seeing the results that I had and then seeing how little side effects I had, you may be thinking that Accutane is kind of an acne get out of jail free card, and I do not want to propose that idea. You often can't have your cake and eat it too. I am a extreme outlier where I noticed results extremely fast and had very little side effects. You cannot take my experience as gospel, as chances are, you won't have the same results. I'm sure your acne will improve on Accutane, but it probably won't be that fast, and you very well may likely experience worse side effects. Now, let's talk about what I did to combat the minor side effects I did have. Or let me just give you some quick tips to handle Accutane if you're about to hop on. First off, be on insurance. At least in the United States, my monthly prescription, before insurance paid for it, was $1,700. Eventually, my derm gave me access to a private, like, pharmacy that they use, and that ended up only being about $100 a month. But still, it is very expensive without insurance or the proper hookup. After insurance, I was paying about $13. Isotretinoin, again, is just vitamin A which is a fat soluble vitamin, so make sure you take it with food. What a lot of people recommend to do is take it with just a spoonful of peanut butter. That's what I did. The most important tip is Aquaphor. One second. This shit right here, worth its weight in gold. I use it all over my body now or whatever dry spot I may get. Like a random thing is like right behind my ears. At first I was buying the Aquaphor chapstick, but it seems like just pure Aquaphor works even better. I still carry some chapstick around like in my car or in my girlfriend's purse, but that's just to have it on hand. I'd let Aquaphor sponsor me if they really wanted to. Like these guys are awesome. But be warned, I once picked up their chapstick with added SPF and it tasted like shit. I mean, I wasn't trying to like eat it. It just happens again in your mouth and it's terrible. But that's probably any chapstick with SPF in it. And that's another tip use SPF. Isotretinoin makes you extremely sensitive to the sun. So with that being said, here's my general skincare routine. In the morning, I wake up, I wash with room temp water roughly, and then use an SPF moisturizer. At some point, I typically reapply SPF throughout the day. And then at night, I use a gentle cleanser, followed by a moisturizer, followed by an occlusive, such as Aquaphor. That's it. That wasn't enough before Accutane, but it certainly is now. So guys, that is my journey with Accutane or isotretinoin. I ran a pretty long course, about eight months, but statistically speaking, that should be long enough and I built up to a high enough accumulative dosage that I should be acne free. Time will tell, so I may have to run a second course in the future, but as of right now, we're, we're looking pretty good. I'm so thankful for this medication. I'm so thankful for the dermatologist that prescribed it. I'm thankful for all the posts online, especially r slash uh, Accutane, the subreddit. There's so much good advice and so many awesome stories of people just purely recovering. It, it's great. It's not a miracle drug for everyone. 
but it certainly was for me. And guys, that is the video. If you like this style of content of self-improvement, just basic advice, do me a favor and like the video and then also hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you're subscribed, you'll get alerted every single time it goes up. If you really like this content, you really want to support me, you can follow all of these socials. They will all be linked in the description. I post exercise content there twice a day, every single day. Did I forget something? Am I an idiot? Leave me a comment. It helps out the channel and I respond to every single one of them. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.